Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from exilautomation.com and this is part 9 of our Kwaipu video series and in this part we'll be talking about working with ambiguous control. So before watching this part I would request you to watch previous videos of this particular series so that you can have a clear understanding of what we're going to talk about right now. Alright, so for that I'm going to flip to Visual Studio. Alright, so this is the same code which we have been working so long and what I'm going to do this time to prove the point of the ambiguous control is this. I'm going to work with this particular page of our application. Let's say you're going to run a test with this particular application and let's say if you want to click this particular button, maybe the second button or the first button, then how do you do that? Uh, because all the properties of this particular button is basically the same. It has the value of delete and it has the value of delete for the other options as well and you can see that right here it is delete again so how to handle this ambiguous situation because if you try to just pass in the delete button then maybe the click button of delete then the quipo is going to throw you an error saying the same button is already available with the same property name so how to work with that for that i'm going to write a simple method maybe i'm going to call this as test ambiguous control so I'm going to decorate this method with test attribute and then here I'm going to basically copy paste some of the codes from here all right and I'm going to remove the app host for now this time because it's not execute automation it's my local machines application so I'm going to copy this file path and I'm going to paste it right here right in the browser.visit all right and then what I'm going to do, basically, I'm just going to click the button with delete, right? If I specify a click button of delete, of course, it will go and find the delete button, but it will throw you an exception. So let's quickly build this solution and show you the real execution to prove the point that what's going to really happen. So I'm going to just run this selector test. All right, so it opened the browser. There we go. And we got an exception here stating the quipu.ambiguous exception. Ambiguous match found three elements matching the button delete. So what are you going to really do? So it gives you some suggestions along with the error. It says that look for something more specific. Awesome, right? And then it says set the option.text precision option to extract to exclude substring text matches. Of course, there is no substring to extract there. It's just delete so it's not gonna work out as well and there is one more option which is kind of interesting for us it is option dot match to match the first to just take the first matching element I think this is kind of very interesting for us right now so how to work with this basically as I already said in our previous video the new options class we're gonna use exactly the same class this time as well so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna call our options class and and then here there is a match property and within this match property you can specify what you're going to tell so you can tell match dot first match dot single and there is one more enum where you can tell match dot first or single whatever you want to so you can tell anything if you want to let's say if i want to click the first one then i can just choose the match dot first and then if i try to run this test this time this will click the delete button of the first employee which is nothing but Karthik so it opened the browser there we go you can see that you are trying to delete the employee Karthik so meaning it is trying to click the employee Karthik here that's what it's doing right so this is how you can see that you can avoid the ambiguity error with Kwaipu and this is one way of avoiding it but there are different ways that you can handle to perform the operation like selecting the first TD which is nothing but the employee as Karthik and then you can click the delete button of that particular employee alone. But we are not going to really discuss about these options in this particular video. Well this is what is the very easiest way that you can do in Kwaipu to perform an operation by reducing or removing the ambiguity error by calling the match.first property of the options property class so that's it guys thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day